Lenny Bola. I'm the founder of the Peace Angels Project. The Peace Angels Project destroys weapons to create monuments of peace to inspire humanity. What is a Peace Angel? A Peace Angel is a monument created from decommissioned nuclear missile casings and street weapons. Wow, okay. So decommissioned nuclear missile casings. Mm -hmm. I would think that's the sort of thing that most people can't get a hold of. That's correct. And because of my reputation of working only with authentic law enforcement and government, I was the only artist allowed at the Arms Trade Treaty at the United Nations. Okay. So in July of 2012, I was sitting at the table and I got a phone call from an undisclosed source who told me that he had 100 barrels of nuclear stainless for me, that he had weapons for me. After checking out his credibility, we were able to receive those 100 barrels. So these works that you create, you've, you've had the idea to do something transformative with uh, in converting what was once an instrument of destruction into, into something that hopefully brings joy. Um, where did this come from? In 1992, I read in the LA Times that a thousand children had just been killed the year before. Oh, and I looked at my beautiful son, who I love more than anyone on earth, and um, I had to do something. What is something you can share about your experience in working to obtain this, uh, this extremely exotic and controversial material? The most important thing to me as an artist, the most important thing, was to be respected in a way that I would be able to access those weapons. To me, it wouldn't make any sense to break down weapons that I could just go buy. They'd have no meaning. Everything in the Peace Angels Project is about the connection between human beings and understanding the process. I'm requesting the weapons from Democrats, from Republicans, from every color, from both sexes, all ages. Anyone who wants to do this is welcome. And I do not judge anyone. And I don't think that's the role of the artist anyway. The role of the artist is to give a sacred ground where everyone is accepted. So this beautiful sculpture was poured, if you can imagine, in a small foundry in Los Angeles in April of 1997. But when we poured the second one, the metal imploded, making it imperfect. So I kept the second one, and I gave President Clinton at the time the very first one poured. What is this that's giving it its shine? What is this that's it's that's nuclear that's stainless? It? Nuclear stainless steel. Yeah. There's some guns in there too. I'd say about six. Some guns in there. Like we just throw them in. We throw in some guns. Some guns. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. So I'm looking at this beautiful peace angel, and I have my hand on something that used to be part of a nuclear weapon. It's yeah. unbelievable. Thank you so much for your time with us and for sharing a window into your world. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.